Dennis, thank you. Hi. Thank you. Welcome and thank you for accepting to be on this. It's my pleasure always, always for you. Are you ready for the 73 yes. class classes? <laughs> so, what inspired your career in fashion? Uh, oh, well, um, uh, I don't know how much people know, but my mom was a famous model back in the 80s. Wow. So, um, uh, she was always into makeup, hair, and uh, dressing. She was even taking part in Miss Yugoslavia. Wow. So, that was the biggest inspiration for me, and probably I'm the person that had that genes in me for, for fashion. So, my mom, my mom, good, will good. be always the biggest inspiration. Who is your favorite local fashion designer? Um, uh, I have a couple of them, but straightforward, I, I think that it's Gaetano. Uh, it will sound like I'm repeating from, from every one of us, <laughs> but uh, um, uh, we are a people that love so many glamorous things, and he's the only one that can do something glamorous. So. When you are going uh, outside Malta to a fashion show like New York Fashion Week or China Fashion Week, uh, his things are something that can be memorable and uh, you cannot, uh, like, you are winning in his outfits and that's the most important to feel really comfortable in that kind of event. So I love you, Gaetano. <laughs> okay, so your least fashion local designer. Even on that list, there is a lot. <laughs> um, uh, I will say that my list of uh, favorite, not because he's a bad designer, but because um, I really don't like the style of, of the things that... Uh, I will not wear his things, it's a parascandalo. Uh, because he's much more into sport things and... Uh, I really don't see myself in, in that kind of things, so I think him. So, for those who don't know me, where are you from originally? From Macedonia, I love my country. <laughs> yes. And what do you love about living in Malta? Oh, many things. Um, let's say that I love the, um, uh, the opportunities that this country is giving to, to the gifted people. So. Um, uh, I came here and I really had opportunity to show what I really know to do and uh, today I'm here answering on your questions. <laughs> That's a good thing. That is. One thing you miss from your country? What I miss my family. Yes, it's really hard to be a part of your family so I think my family because here I'm not alone. Uh, because I have so many people that um, that I love even here, but uh, being apart is maybe there is some moments that I feel like uh, really imagine, nostalgic yeah. and sad. Yeah. Yes, we imagine that. So, how excited are you about life right now? From uh, one to ten. Eleven. <laughs> Always eleven. <laughs> Because so many things are happening lately and uh, my career in the boat professions that I'm doing is literally like on fire. I uh, really 11, I'm, I'm really happy. As, as I said in many interviews lately, I, maybe I live the most happiest period of my life. That's good, that's good. Describe yourself in three words. Um, <laughs> this is an interesting question. Um, problematic. <laughs> um, uh, um, lazy sometimes and uh, direct. I'm always direct. I always say what I what I what I think. So we know you are a doctor in full time job. Would you give it up for fashion? I can't because I love the both of them together. I always was doing the both. So I think that even if I decide to to stop doing one thing, uh, I will always missing the other. So no, I love the boat and it's very hard to cooperate with the boat things, but uh, I'm doing it. That's good. We want you to do both. That's good. So, biggest disappointment in your fashion career so far? Uh, I don't think so that I have a disappointment moment. Uh, when you really love uh, what you're doing, and uh, when you give all your heart and uh, dedication to something uh, like this, I don't think so that you will be 
disappointed. There will be many people that will try to disappoint you, and here in Malta there is a lot of them. But um, in, in general, I'm a happy person, and I really love what I'm doing. That's cool. Your biggest achievement in fashion so far? Um, uh, being a member of uh, Camera Nazionale della Moda Italiana, so for around seven years, uh, following uh, the most successful designers of all time and sitting in the first row with the biggest bloggers that exist in the world, um, is maybe my, my biggest achievement. One thing, one thing you can't live without? My mobile, definitely. <laughs> I can't like uh, I'm all the time even if I don't have what to do I am really on the mobile all the time what is the most adventurous or daring thing you've done in life so far um, there is a couple of them but uh, but maybe traveling to, to China and Hong Kong because um, uh, I really survived that uh, um, that days in in a bit different expectations that I had before, and it was really an, a full adventure for me. From the two biggest fashion hubs, Milan and New York, which is your favorite one? Uh, I think the Milan one. Um, I, I'm always saying that I spent really nice time in New York, but uh, um, Milan is the place that you are meeting all the new names and um, uh, the new things that are coming up and somehow the style is beginning from, from there. Uh, always you're coming with something new, so I think, I think Milan. Apart from your wallet, keys and phone, what are the three things you never leave home without? Uh, sunglasses, obviously, a lot of them. Um, I don't think so that there is three, but uh, but sunglasses for sure. It's very interesting that I'll, I, I'm always coming back for my ID card, always. Like, I don't know why, but I'm not going out without that. And um, maybe without belt. I usually wear belts a lot. What are you finding yourself doing a lot of lately? Uh, trying to, to watch movies. I'm not a person that uh, likes movies in general, but, uh, but exactly that. Like I'm, I'm researching about uh, uh, Oscars movies and all, all the things and I think that. Last book you read. This is an interesting question because uh, one of my best friends, she is a Macedonian uh, writer, um, uh, she lately um, uh, wrote maybe one of the best uh, books that I ever read. It's about uh, a love in Paris. Uh, so um, it was something that I really, really liked and it's, it's very, very inspirative. What is a terrifying experience you have experienced? Being on the top of Burj Khalifa in Dubai, uh, I really understand that <laughs> I'm not for those type of things, and I, I'm really afraid of heights, so it was not really a nice experience. <laughs> Leather or lace? Lace. Uh, I'm not really a, a, a rock type. I like to wear something sometimes, but uh, I'm much more classical type of, of person and designer that like to use those kind of classical materials and fabrics. What is a must-have uh, of a piece of uh, clothing everyone should have? Nice shoes. That's very important. Especially for the people that are in the fashion. Uh, they were, at the beginning of my fashion career, there was, they were always teaching me that uh, the shoes are something that every person will look at it and uh, you should always wear something interesting that really describes you. So shoes. What is the first thing you notice when you first meet a person? What is the first thing you notice about them? Um, I'm always looking that person in the eyes. So that eye contact uh, really says everything. 
one thing that you want that you truly, truly cherish? Um, at the moment, mm -hmm. I think that at the moment, uh, the first thing that is coming to my mind is that uh, I really want to meet one world designer. His name is Zuhair Murat. Uh, he really inspires me a lot lately with his work. And I think that uh, meeting him will make me like crazy. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite childhood memory? I was speaking yesterday about that. In fact, uh, when I was really young, uh, let's say nine, ten years old, even even younger, I was always at home at my childhood, um, collect girls and try to make um, a modeling uh, competitions, uh, trying to invent some challenges and all the things. And it comes like 15 years after, uh, I'm in reality doing that. So it's very <laughs> nice. crazy. Like, so that, that modeling competitions. And uh, in fact, I'm very happy that uh, what I was dreaming about, I was now really uh, transform that dream into reality and that's that's really crazy so be careful what you are uh, like dreaming about yes it's true it's true what is the hardest thing of being in the fashion industry here in Malta for you what do you find hardest of oh, uh, a lot of uh, frustrated people that um, will try to to eliminate from their way because um, they're thinking that uh, the fashion is uh, um, the fashion is a war, and uh, the fashion is totally different from there. So, uh, people who really love this um, will always find hard. But if you really love something, these people will just go from your life and will never stop you. Uh, so I think that if that will be changed and the opportunities will be given to the right people that really understand what is fashion and fashion industry, this will be a really amazing place for living. But as I'm always saying, the world is not pink, it's full of uh, um, advantages and people that will try to make your life a bit harder. But, but there is people even like you that really they are inspirative and uh, like to help and celebrate the success of the other people so um it's not everything so black yes, yes, there is there is really nice colors in all this but in general that that, that is the okay one local person you would never have time for never never uh, yes okay i think that that everyone knows my answer um i'm never a person <laughs> that uh try to hide something but at the same time I want to be a really uh, professional person and uh, the answer is known. I mean all the people that they know me they, they will know from who I'm speaking about. First three things on your bucket list. Um, uh, lately I have a really big wish to, to go to Iceland. I don't know why and that's the first thing that I'm crazy about and I try to realize that. Um, uh, to finish my collection that is coming in June and um, uh, to really work hard and give my best in the reality show that I'm judge. Um, so pretty much those are the three things that I'm, I'm obsessed about it at the moment. What advice would you give to your younger self? Oh, this is a really interesting question. <laughs> Oof. Um, don't believe so much in everyone. Believe in yourself because that's the only way how you will take out all your dreams and transfer them into reality. Ideal date night. Oh, it needs to be something very crazy. Um, uh, I'm not a romantic person, I think even if I look like by the <laughs> dressing but I'm not in general so it needs to be something something really crazy like I don't know I I, I don't have idea like meeting on the on the beach or something like that <laughs> not, not a fan of romantic things and all the things like I love it but 
that's not something that describes my character. You are a little bit wild. <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> Do you have a hidden talent? Many of them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm that, that you can talk about. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do. I do a couple of them. Like that the people maybe don't know about it. Um, I love uh, painting. Wow. I do them. Uh, do a lot of them, but it's something that um, um, uh, fill me with positive energy, and I'm a bit emotional about that, and I don't want so much to yeah. to share with the rest you of the, the people. You keep it for yourself. You know? Yes. Yeah. That's a good thing. To have. Favorite destination you've been so far? Okay, this is a hard question because you know that I'm traveling <laughs> yes, a lot. Yes, that's right. Um, uh, must be more than one. No, I will mention lately that uh, I was to Morocco and I'm really impressed by that place. And as I said, um, I said one sentence that I will repeat after I come back from there that everything that you're seeing is inspirative for an artist like uh, I went I come back shocked by colors textures and and everything like full of ideas and it's amazing that, that place is really amazing next destination Iceland <laughs> if you could swap lives with one person anyone who would that be Maybe I will sound a bit um, crazy for some people uh, after this answer, but uh, I will take Mother Teresa because of a couple of reasons. She is from my country, first of all. And um, uh, the point of, of the life of everyone I'm taking as a big inspiration. So you are here to, to, to inspire the next generation and uh, if you have a power to do that, transmitting through any kind of art or whatever you are doing, uh, it's the, the point of, of, of the life. So uh, she is so inspirative and uh, if I can inspire so much people as, as she did, it will be amazing. Like, so I, I choose her as because everyone can be designer everyone can be a model everyone can be a doctor or, or whatever but uh, to be a, a person that inspire on good way uh, people with quality things because uh, we're living in the world that uh, uh, many of the of the things are really not good and not so many people keep the, the real values it's something really impressive it's a good answer if you had to change your career, any career, what would you, you would be doing? I was thinking about this question like um, uh, even before and um, uh, not all of the people knows that I have uh, also finished school for hairdressing and makeup artists at the beginning Wow. as well, an academy. Um, uh, I think a makeup artist. Wow. But we are speaking about really makeup artist that uh, is full time with full time job. I love doing that. <laughs> what is the one thing that would make life absolutely perfect right now? Having uh, a good character. Everything else, it's uh, nothing without good character. If you are a person that can share um, a really um, human values at the moment makes you the most richest person in the world. If you would raid one person's closet, who would it be? The closet of Denis Savage. <laughs> That's, uh, I don't think so that it's very easy to be me. And uh, the things that I have, I love them because I rarely can see on the other person. And, that makes me so so specific. So my closet. I, I I can't choose someone else because I can't be someone else, and uh, not a lot of people can be me. So I think that that's the right one. Yes, that's a good thing to say. Uh, tell us something yet you cannot do, cannot do at all. Oh, I hate ironing. 
like I hate that really everyone that knows me like really uh, knows me close they know that I'm really allergic to that <laughs> I don't know why I was always like I hate doing that who chooses your outfits do you choose your outfits? yes myself yes which do you consider to be the most outrageous outfit you wore last year because this one just started so. um, I will not mention the event, um, uh, but um, it was a style uh, made by Maltese designer Henry Vassalo, uh, regards to him, um, that um, I wanted on that event to go and show something really crazy, and he transformed all the ideas that I have into one piece of outfit in one week, so uh, I show up there and uh, I want it to be an outfit that everyone will ask, like, what is he doing? And uh, this outfit was really me, full of crystals, of, of lace and everything. So um, I think that outfit, if I, if I need to choose, it will be... It's hard, this question, but mm -hmm. let's say that that outfit uh, can answer this question on the right way. Favorite fashion icon? Uh, this is interesting question, and uh, um, uh, it will the answer it will be even much much more interesting. Uh, there is uh, one Serbian singer that uh, I follow. Her name is Jelena Karlevša, and lately uh, I really uh, get so much inspiration, and uh, um, uh, I try to use those colors, those fabrics, and. Uh, I'm really obsessed how she's uh, thinking on the on the right way, and uh, I use her as an I don't as an icon, not as an idol, but uh, as an icon I that can inspire a person like me, which is very hard. <laughs> what is the first item you bought, designer item? Um, I think that they were uh, a Dolce & Gabbana shoes that um, me and my mom, we was in Greece on vacation and I saw them and I was crying literally the whole holiday uh, for them and uh, that was the first big thing that I really spent money and I was literally uh, taking care how I walk in them, <laughs> like every single moment. <laughs> yes. How much did they cost? They were costing like five, six hundred euros, oh, something wow. like that. <laughs> uh, but I saw them. I remember even now how they were looking at everything, and uh, um, my face was like I get million euros on lottery. <laughs> I don't know. I was so happy and looking at them, and I think that I, I slept in them like uh, <laughs> crazy. Apart from clothes, what do you spend most money on? Um, if we take clothes and shoes together, the most that I'm spending on traveling, yes, on traveling, definitely. Best advice you ever got? Um, best advice that I got, um, show everyone how uh, powerful you are because the people don't like um, uh, people who cannot express and who are weak. People like a stronger people. If you want to, to be in the fashion industry, you need to be really strong uh, because otherwise nobody will take you serious. Tell us something your followers don't know about you. Uh, there is a lot, a lot of things that I don't express. <laughs> <laughs> but one interesting thing to, to, to share with them is that um, I'm obsessed with doing uh, like uh, live videos and to sing in car, like singing um, <laughs> Instagram videos. I don't uh, try to put them because they are crazy, but I know to do like that kind of videos, like video clips in, uh, in the car. I love to do that. That fills me with so much energy, like to sing and being yeah. crazy. <laughs> Last time you got drunk? 
I usually don't drink alcohol and uh, I rarely drink alcohol, like very rarely. But last year in New York, <laughs> yes. <laughs> because probably I, I, I drink two cocktails and after that I was really... <laughs> this is not for camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one thing you always wanted to do but you're scared to do. Uh, maybe to uh, to do a paragliding things ah. like with paraglider and uh, try to be from some mountain and fly. I I always I don't know why I always imagine that, but uh, I don't know if I have <laughs> to, like got to do that. What makes you totally happy? What what is your happiness? Okay, not because you are here, but people like you Aww. that uh, try to make other people happy and to be happy for their happiness. Because there is nothing much more inspirative for that. Why? Because uh, we are living in a world that everyone tries to hurt someone and people like, like this are, are simply filling you with life. With uh, You cannot fake happiness. No, it's very true. It's very true. Are you pessimistic or optimistic? Oh, optimistic, always. <laughs> always, always, always. Even if something is impossible, I try to make it possible. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm from those type of people. Okay, so if you are stranded on an island and you can have only one person, who would you want with oh, you? Oh, Graziella Camilleri. <laughs> yes, yes. She will be. The, she is the most ideal roommate that ever exists in this planet. And I think that we will make that island chaos. <laughs> so... She is the right one. Um, five local bloggers we should all be following at the moment. Okay. Uh, first, I will say that it's pity that in this country they they usually don't know what is blogger, what really blogger means, and they are usually trying to to combine with influencer, which is totally different thing. So bloggers is a person that write articles regarding fashion. And uh, we are not a lot of people that we are writing here. So as a top one, I always say this, and I think that I will always keep my, my opinion about, is Stephanie Sherry. She is someone that is, there is no better writer than her. Um, uh, Carolina Bella, I love her as well, because uh, she is expressing herself enough on the way that the people can understand her so to be a blogger you need to to touch the people's heart to understand you and she's not trying to be fake she gives what she can give and that's very good um, um Graziel, obviously she is giving so much efforts to to her work um uh, lara zopardi and um, lately, I will mention Salvatore, the Italian um, influencer and blogger. She, he started also to write some articles, and uh, it's really inspiration for the for the men world of fashion here. So um, I think those are the people that uh, that really are into blogging. Influencer can be everyone. Blogger cannot be because you need to have a gut to write, be honest, and uh, keep the attention of the people, so. What makes you angry? Wasting of time. So if someone is late, that really, really, really uh, says a lot about that person. Um, uh, if you know and learn how to, to appreciate the time, your time and the time of the other people, uh, that means that you can be successful. Otherwise, so those type of people I really don't like. Something that surprised you lately? Um, uh, <laughs> this is interesting. Something that surprised me lately was one invitation that uh, I got invited to, to Piti Uomo 
um, uh, in Florence, which is the biggest hub market for, for men fashion. And I was invited by uh, to attend this event where all the male bloggers, the best male bloggers in the world attend. And that gives me answer that everything that I'm doing has some meaning. Like, what is the best gift you've ever received? The best gift. Uh, for me, the best gift, uh, when it's gift, it's, everything is the best. Uh, people that they know me, they always buy me clothes because <laughs> <laughs> I will com combine that in some way. So when I see clothes, uh, I'm happy enough. Okay. Yeah. What is the most exciting thing about fashion? Um, uh, the, the most exciting thing is uh, the creativity not not everyone is born with creative minds and those people are very big they have a storage in their mind of, of doing uh, some things that other people cannot so that details uh, that uh, fabrics uh, to combine that to, to design that you need to be a really great mind so uh, you should always be friends with those type of people I'm always saying that and it's true so, so the creativity is it's very important. Best way to decompress? Um, in the meaning of? When you are trying to relax, how do you like let go and oh, completely this, this, relax? This is crazy <laughs> answer. <laughs> Usually I'm in, in my um, uh, underwear, dancing and singing at home like crazy. And uh, usually I'm doing that before every fashion big event and I'm full with energy and that I can fly after that. <laughs> if you could have one concert ticket, who would you be seeing? Adele. Lately, I, I, I'm crazy about to go on the concert. Adele, totally, I love her. I love really her. <laughs> Celebrity, boy and girl crush. Being living in a country that everyone is celebrity, my answer will be that I don't believe that there is celebrities, real celebrities in 2020, because everyone can be celebrity. Even I am, for some people, celebrity, even if I'm not. <laughs> you so, are. Um, th that kind of true stars like Celine Dion or whatever, uh, they, they don't exist in 2020, simply don't. Favorite all-time movie? The Silence of the Lambs. It's mm. old, it's crazy answer, but I love that movie. I always go back. There is something that attracts me. Movie that made you cry? Titanic. If you had one superpower, what would it be? Um, taking the fact that my work is a lot... Uh, connected with uh, with new life with uh, babies and uh, that kind of things um, there is nothing worse than the uh, couple trying to have a children and uh, if I have that power uh, I will give to all the families that really love to have baby and Aww. to have a family to have it because uh, I think that that pain that they're feeling is it's really devastating and uh, it it's something that I never I never saw from everyone is suffering on, on their uh -huh. own way but those people are a group of people that they're a bit uh, yes, very true. That's a very nice answer. sensitive what who is the last person you texted my mom always. <laughs> last thing you googled um, the last thing that I googled today was um, uh, the new collection of Rami Kadi. He's a very famous designer. And uh, I tried to see some things. So that will be the last one, yes. So, if your life was a song, what would be, tight, be the title? Uh, of, this is... Uh, I, I will answer it in Maltese way, because I didn't say nothing uh, like... Oh, that's uh, nice. nice. It's um, uh, uh, this is my dream.
by Thea Garrett. It was a song for Eurovision Song Contest. And uh, she's like expressing like that this is the thing that I'm living it and I'm wow. feeling like that. And these days I'm really obsessed about that song. Yes. Totally so. <laughs> difficult, not so difficult. Shorts, t-shirts and flip-flop are suited and booted. I hate suits. Uh, the people maybe will think that I laugh, but I hate suits and I always want to be comfortable. So, totally the first option. <laughs> On some Iceland, somewhere <laughs> far away from here. <laughs> Do you have a morning beauty ritual? A lot of them. <laughs> I hate myself because of that. Yes, I have. Like two hours of doing million things. Ah, wow. If you could sit down and have a coffee with anyone in the world, who would it be? From the fashion industry or in general? In general. Do you know who will be that? Um, Donald Trump. Why? I need to give an explanation. Um, uh, I really admire and love people that nobody believes in them. And they, they are becoming uh, so big that one day everyone wants a coffee with them. <laughs> and that's why. Because in my life I passed through a many many that kind of periods that nobody believed in in my work in the things and uh, i became really much more than them Very so good. donald trump definitely hobbies that you will never give up no matter how busy you are you will never give up that hobby um i'm coming from music family and uh, i have a lot of singers in my family and i was myself also singer so the music writing uh, lyrics for many singers i work one of the things that maybe a lot, a lot of people, they don't know, I do that. That's nice. So that I will never eliminate. I'm doing it very often. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, I was seeing, uh, I was like in, in some kind of uh, idea to, to be in some movies. So I think that on the Oscars. Have you ever broken a promise? Yes, everyone loves bumps. Your worst <laughs> habit? My worst habit? Uh, trying to make perfection from everything that cannot exist. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the worst. What's, what is something you always wanted to learn but haven't had the time yet? Italian language. I speak a bit basic Italian and I give my best. But I was always saying, like, I go to school and try to, to learn more and professional, and I never do it. Favorite food? Favorite food? Um, uh, I think that, uh, that maybe Macedonian kitchen, because um, everyone likes the, the kitchen that it's coming from, from his country. So I miss that. A, a part of that, my mom is a professional chef, wow. so I, I love that food, yeah. What is something, uh, clothing-wise, you would never get caught wearing? Mm, I think that there is not that type of thing. <laughs> I always promise myself that I will never go, if this is the answer, uh, naked. In any kind of things, for any kind of money and they they really uh, a lot of time contact me for that i will never go in that if if we take this as an answer otherwise my style it's crazy so it's very true we i can combine you. i think that i can wear even the the seats here that uh, <laughs> <laughs> that will be not a problem <laughs> what do you think about the men's fashion here locally there is no men's fashion here because uh here the, the men's fashion it's just straightforward. If you are a bit different, if you wear something different, uh, everyone is like uh, looking at you as, uh, as a crazy person. So to be a really man fashion needs uh, and means more than just a plain suit uh, in three colors. And that's it. That's why people like Gaetano, 
aren't accepted even from outside. Uh, people like um, Malcolm and Dre that they, they designed for me when I go to Fashion Week around the world. Uh, the people are getting crazy because they represent the men fashion, but a lot of people are scared here to, to wear that. Mm -hmm. Since I'm not, I try to, to present that out without a problem. One regret in general. Um, one regret regarding think or anything. Oh, this is <laughs> this is really hard question. I usually have answer for everything, <laughs> but this is a hard, hard one. Um, uh, okay, I'm regretting um, uh, giving so much uh, efforts um, uh, to one fashion event here in Malta. Facebook or Instagram? Instagram. I think Instagram, yes. Your biggest, wildest dream? To be the biggest star, fashion star in, in the world. One thing you consider absolutely unforgivable? Lying. Because that's the worst thing that you can do. Quote to live by. Um, don't be selfish and if you have even a small ability to make the people happy make them what is one thing that motivates you um, traveling yes uh, going and visiting so many places and seeing all the things it really gives me after every traveling I'm I'm full of ideas and uh, have a lot of uh, uh, I'm thinking a lot and I like that because in the fashion it's uh, uh, everyone is repeating and you need new ideas and I love when something uh, provocate my <laughs> my crazy mind for designing <laughs> <laughs> so what are we expecting to see from you in 2020 I promised myself that this year I will try to do a different things that I usually did in the last five years and trying to, to visit many uh, fashion events uh, abroad that uh, I never visited. Um, so I have already planned a lot of things. Uh, and um, this year I think that I will give my best. And uh, it seems like year that that really um, takes out the best of me from the beginning. So I think that will be an, an amazing year of creativity and, uh, and really me. So congratulations. We are at the last question now. <laughs> so just you have a lot of followings. We, we know that a lot of people follow, follow you. So one message to all your followers. Um, uh, as I always said in my posts, I, I really love all of you because without uh, the love that I'm getting every day uh, towards messages and everything, um, I will not be the same person. So part of my inspiration are all, all of you. Um, uh, thank you all for all your support, love and, um, and I hope that I will give the best this year to make it even, even uh, our connection bigger um, I know that there is a lot of people following uh, the things that I'm doing and uh, I I love making you all of you happy on some way so love you all and uh, thank you for being with not just with me with us like. Very true. Uh, 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 we have one bonus question I get to say something now. yes <laughs> <laughs> so are you following MTL TV on social media of course. <laughs> yes. I'm mentioning you everywhere. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Yes. Oh, and everyone should... needs to do that because they're amazing, different. And uh, here in Malta, we don't have this kind of thing. So if you want to be inspired um, and influenced by something that has some values, this is the right place that you should subscribe.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.